Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamara, but you can call me Tam. If you are new here, you should definitely consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So as you can tell by the title in today's video, I have another fragrance combo video for you guys. And I'm so excited to share these fragrance combinations because I love each and every one of these. Like I love all of them. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first fragrance combination that I'm going to show you guys is one that is fun. It's girly. It's flirty. Definitely going to be perfect for spring and summer. And it's just giving like girly vibes. And this fragrance combination is Champagne Sprinkles by Bath & Body Works paired with Fancy by Brittany fantasy i said fantasy fancy paired with fantasy by britney spears and i can't believe no one has paired these together i haven't watched a video yet where someone has paired these two together but these this is just like a match made in heaven like the packaging even goes together so well the fragrance notes for champagne sprinkles are sparkling champagne raspberry icing and rainbow sprinkles and fantasy has accords of sweet fruity tropical fresh and chocolate um with fragrance notes of kiwi red lychee quince middle notes of white chocolate cupcake orchid and jasmine base notes are musk orris root and woodsy notes and these two just pair so well together because they both are sweet they both give you like cake and cupcake vibes and it's just a beautiful fragrance combination so if you have these two fragrances in your collection give them a try together and if you do leave me a comment and let me know how you like it just for every day or a bedtime scent this has been one of my go-to's absolutely love especially if you're into sweet girly fragrances like i am you will definitely enjoy this combination okay and the next fragrance combo is for my citrus lovers and i don't know what it is about me both of these fragrances i bought last year and i really was not feeling either one of them i just was not into citrus fragrances and for some reason here lately i have been loving this fragrance combination i guess because i'm ready for spring and warmer weather i've just been drawn to these but this fragrance combo is Bora Bora Citrus Surf by Bath & Body Works, of course, and Malibu by Juicy Couture. I don't have the fragrance notes for Bora Bora Citrus Surf. This is not a new fragrance. It's been around for a while, so it is just like a citrus overload. Um... It's just like a citrus sweet scent, like almost giving you like an orange Kool-Aid vibe because it does have some sweet, some sweetness to it, but it's an overall citrus scent. And the fragrance notes to Malibu by Juicy Couture are passion fruit, watermelon, mandarin orange, green apple, black currant, and green leaves with middle notes of jasmine, tuberose, water lily, wild rose and base notes of tiara flower, musk, and woozy notes. So this is an overall fruity scent with some citrus notes as well. And this is just a sweet citrus scent. I feel like Bora Bora adds some sweetness to Malibu that is missing. And Malibu adds a little bit of maturity to Bora Bora because this fragrance does include some florals as well. So this is also just an everyday fragrance combination that would be perfect for spring, summer, any occasion occasion like this is just a good one for my girls who love citrus fragrances if you have these in your collection definitely try layering them together and if you don't have malibu by juicy couture i'm pretty sure you can find this at ross if they still have it i found this at ross last year i think i paid 20 dollars for this little bottle or 25 no more than 25 so yeah this is a fragrance combo for my citrus lovers all right let's move on to the next one 
Okay, so the next fragrance combination is two fragrances that I'm pretty sure most of you guys have in your collection, and that is Sensual Amber. I originally was not a fan of Sensual Amber. It was just missing something. Like, I didn't dislike it, but it was just okay to me. But I paired Sensual Amber with Fancy by Jessica Simpson, and I absolutely love it. This fragrance, this perfume as a sweetness to sensual amber that it did not have originally and if you guys have been watching my layering videos or my fragrance videos and you already know I'm all about sweet fragrances so the fragrance notes for sensual amber are golden amber wild berries orange flower lotus petals and creamy sandalwood and the fragrance notes for fancy by Jessica Simpson are apricot pear red berries middle notes of caramel almond gardenia and jasmine and base notes of vanilla amber and sandalwood so both of these fragrance have fragrances have berry notes amber and sandalwood so if you like sensual amber but you're like me and you just need some sort of sweetness in every fragrance that you wear put these two together you will not regret it and this combination was so um potent like it had a great projection and also it lasts all day these two together this will last you all day all night you will not have to reapply these will last fancy it's a long lasting fragrance on its own but paired with sensual amber these did really well i left the house the, that morning at like 10 o'clock and got back home at literally like 10 o'clock that night and i could still smell these on me when i went to do laundry the next day i could still smell these on my clothes so yeah this is a great fragrance combination definitely one that will get you compliments and definitely a combo that is going to project so if you have these two please put them together and let me know what you think also before i move on to the next fragrance combo i do want to um let you guys know how i put these together is i'm always um messing with my collection when i get ready to go somewhere i'm just spraying and seeing what smells good together or if i have a fragrance mist that i don't have anything to pair with i look at the notes on the back of the fragrance mist and then i'll see what perfume in my collection has similar notes and stuff so i just play around with it um, and I don't want you guys to kind of be stressed when it comes to layering fragrances you know just have fun with it just figure out what smells good to you and what works well with your body chemistry because a fragrance combination that you come up with and that you may be in love with I may not like and vice versa I may come up with the fragrance combination that you try and you may be like this is terrible so you guys just have fun with it there's no rules to layering fragrances all right enough of that let's move on to the next combination and i'm sure you guys already saw the perfume as i was talking and this is wonder rose by zara also you guys if you have not seen my zara perfume haul i will have it linked in the cards also in the description of this video i'll have that video linked so definitely check out my zara perfume haul after you watch this video but I paired Wonder Rose by Zara with Endless Weekend by Bath and Body Works. And this, this is going to be one of my go-tos for spring and summer. I can tell you now. This combination was so good. It got me so many compliments. My husband absolutely loved this combination together. So the fragrance notes for Endless Weekend are Summer Mandarin blue coconut water and vanilla sandal vanilla sandalwood and the fragrance notes for wonder rose are <clears throat> top notes of pear middle notes of red fruits and base notes of vanilla so this is very good um these two pair very well together this is just a fruity vanilla fragrance and this is a um 
somewhat fruity vanilla fragrance as well the fragrance notes are not identical um this is one of the fragrance combinations that i was just going through my collection spraying things and when i spray this i instantly thought of this and yeah so i love this this is just giving me fresh vanilla fruity summertime vibes so if you have these let me know what you think if you give them a try okay this next fragrance combination is one that i love so much and it's actually what i'm wearing on today and it is margarita cupcake by bath and body works paired with the gourmand addict by zara i don't have the fragrance notes to margarita cupcake but i'll let you guys know um this is the perfect cupcake scent it is sweet it doesn't have much citrus to it like the margarita is not very potent um i just get mainly a cupcake note with this one and you guys my baby broke the top off of it but it's perfectly fine okay i'm making it work because i love this fragrance so much and yeah so this is like a citrus cupcake what this smells like is just like a vanilla cupcake with vanilla icing with maybe a little bit of orange zest on top not very much orange or citrus in this just mainly that sweet cupcake and this is just one of my favorites like i cannot explain how much i love this fragrance miss but pairing it with gourmand addict by zara just adds a little bit of maturity to the fragrance combination and the fragrance notes for gum gourmand addict are top notes of peach middle notes of cassis and base notes of patchouli and this is described as a spicy as a warm spicy aromatic soft spicy sweet balsamic fruity woodsy patchouli scent so yeah this is gourmand addict and by itself this is really not one of my favorites it's just not giving me gourmand vibes And when I smell this, I can smell a little bit of the peach, but it works very well with Margarita Cupcake. It's a very lovely fragrance combination. This perfume is not one of my favorites on its own, but paired with Margarita Cupcake, I absolutely love it. Margarita Cupcakes is one, is one of my favorites, and I just splash a little gourmand addict with it, just to add a little bit of maturity to the fragrance. So yeah. This one is one that I'm loving. I'm wearing it today, as I told you guys earlier. And yeah, absolutely love it. All right, and we are down to the last two fragrance combinations. I'm saving my absolute favorite, favorite, favorites for last. But this fragrance combo that I'm going to be showing you guys next is for my fresh fragrance lovers. So the first fragrances that i have is the lotion to me a summer dream i actually don't have the fragrance mist to me a summer dream so i just paired it with confetti daydream these do not smell identical but they pair really well together and the fragrance notes to midsummer dream is salted pear fresh nectarine and seaside lily and the fragrance notes to confetti daydream are fresh raspberry sparkling pear and blue iris so i'm guessing it's the pear note in these that kind of made me want to pair them together so i use this lotion um this fragrance mist and i topped it off with aqua de goya by giorgio armani and i love to get the mini of fragrances and I love picking up minis of fragrances like this because I don't know if you guys know, but I do work from home. I spend a lot of time at home, so I don't like to buy full perfumes because it'll take me so long to get through them because I'm at home most days. When I can find a good fragrance in a little mini bottle like this, 
I definitely go for it. And if I use up this small size, then that'll let me know that I like it enough to go ahead and purchase a full size bottle. But the fragrance notes for this fragrance are top notes of Amalfi, lemon and mint, middle notes of jasmine, peony, pink pepper, base notes of Virginia cedar, French, something I can't pronounce, and brown sugar. So these fragrance notes really do not match at all, but this just gives me a fresh vibe. These two fragrances give me a fresh floral vibe as well, and it just pairs really well together. I definitely love it. And yeah, I just enjoy this fragrance combination. So if you have these fragrances, you already know what I'm gonna say. Give them a try and let me know what you think. All right, loves, we have made it to the last fragrance combination, which is my ultimate favorite at the moment. Anytime I have somewhere special to go, this is what I'm gravitating towards. Anytime I'm leaving the house and knowing I'm going to be around a lot of people, this is just what I'm gravitating towards because it smells so good. And this has harbored me a lot of compliments, you guys. So it is mad about you. And if you know then you know mad about you is one of my favorite standalone fragrance mists like i don't have to pair this with the perfume it has great projection by itself but if you just want to add a little razzle dazzle to mad about you you should pair it with versace bright crystal absolute and i am getting through this little container so this is one that I will definitely be purchasing in a full bottle soon. Let me give you the fragrance notes. So the fragrance notes to Mad About You are Black Currant, Bright Peony, Pink Jasmine, White Patchouli, and Vanilla Musk. Okay, and the fragrance notes to Bright Crystal Absolute are top notes of Pomegranate, Yuzu, and Water Notes. Middle notes of peony, raspberry, lotus, and magnolia. Base notes of musk, musk, mahogany, and amber. So once again, these two, they do not have many similar um, fragrance notes. Are any of the notes the same? Okay, they both have peony. And that's it. So the only similar fragrance notes that these have is the peony note, but I don't care. These two just complement each other so well. I was wearing Mad About You one day and I just smelled this. I was like, these two complement each other so well. I absolutely love it. And this is my favorite, my go-to fragrance combo at the moment. I actually wore this when we celebrated my daughter's birthday. Like this is just one of my go-tos at the moment. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I saved the best for last, you guys. This is my favorite at the moment. All right, love. So those are all the fragrance combos that I had to share with you all on today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you made it to the end, make sure you give me a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. Also, let me know what fragrance combinations you guys are coming up with in the com in the comments below. I would definitely love to try them. I have so much fun layering new fragrances together. So let me know what you guys are layering together at the moment so i'm curious to know are y'all already wearing spring and summer fragrances like are y'all done with winter or are you still enjoying your winter fragrances definitely let me know all right thank you so much for watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up also go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content i will see you all in my next video Thank you so much if you watched to the end. All right, everybody stay blessed. I will see you in my next one.